Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Chels Cora and today I'm talking about step 11 in 12-step recovery. Step 11 states, sought through prayer and meditation to improve our conscious contact with God as we understand Him, praying only for knowledge of His will for us and the power to carry that out. Step 11 is an incredibly important step for us in 12-step recovery because step 11 is about spiritual awareness. That's the principle behind this step. And when we become more spiritual, when we seek through conscious efforts to align ourselves with the spiritual nature of existence, we get closer to home. Many times throughout my time in recovery in the rooms of AA and in my own personal experience, I have found that many of us have these feelings of not belonging from a very early age, feeling different and separate from people around us and not even feeling a sense of belonging within our own selves. One of the reasons why we drink or use or incessantly try to escape the way that we feel, escape our bodies, get away from ourselves is because of this nagging sense of not belonging. I don't feel at home here. I don't know what the purpose of my life is, why I ever came here. It's confusing. It's an existential crisis at times. And what's important to understand is that we get this feeling of not belonging because the truth is we are not human beings having a spiritual experience, but rather spiritual beings having a human experience. And in that sense, we often feel like we don't belong here because we don't belong here. We are not of this world. We are spiritual beings. We belong to spirit, to source energy. Being in this physical incarnation is temporary. It's a visitation. It's not permanent. And once we leave here, we will be going back home to the place from which we came before incarnating into this life in the first place. So after going through a lot of struggle in which we have completely forgotten the root of our essence, the true nature of our being, which is spiritual, it leads us to a breaking point where we have this spiritual awakening instigated by doing the 12 steps, being a part of recovery, or maybe some other event in life that leads to this particular breaking point. And once that door cracks open and we start to understand like, hey, I am a spiritual being and there's a lot more to life than what I previously realized, we begin to take our journey home back to God, back to our higher power, back to the limitless potential that is inside of ourselves. It is a homecoming. So seeking through prayer and meditation to improve our conscious contact with our higher power keeps us connected to the true essence of who we are. It keeps us in a state of safety and security and serenity because we know that all of these issues that crop up in our physical life are temporary, they are transient, and they are just here to teach us and help us evolve on a soul level. But they're not the end-all, be-all. This life is not the end-all, be-all. One day when our physical body is no longer able to continue on this path, we will return to the place that we came from and this whole life will be like a dream. It's like having the experience of actually going to bed and having a dream. And when you wake up, it's like the dream felt so real. I was just in this other reality a couple of seconds ago, but now I'm awake from this dream and it's all kind of starting to fade into the background. It was just an experience. It was temporary. It's over now. That's what happens when we die. This whole life was just a dream. And when we think about it like that, it's not so serious. And all of this information might be a little more deep than what we typically think of when we turn to step 11, but that's what it really means to me. It means understanding the truth of who we are on a spiritual level and making a commitment to never separate ourselves from that again. Always practicing prayer, always listening to our higher power through meditation, 
and even taking it a step further by finding other ways that we feel connected to the cosmic life force that is the universe, that is God, that is whatever higher power you are praying to. And some ways that I do this, other than prayer and meditation, include yoga, going for walks in nature, interacting with animals, being super present in my conversations with others, invoking the principle of compassion in all of the things that I do. It can also be other spiritual activities like going to a Buddhist temple or going to some event, some cultural event in which people are praying to a god that I am not as familiar with in my culture, but yet the energy is still there, the energy of unconditional love and devotion to a higher purpose. Those are just a few of the ways that I connect to the consciousness of God through ways other than prayer and meditation, but I encourage you to really sit back and Think of your own, not just for the sake of doing step 11, but for the sake of always staying connected to the true essence of who you are as a spiritual being having a human experience. Thank you so much for watching this video. That's my experience, strength, and hope with step 11. If you have your own experience, strength, and hope with this step, please tell me about it. I love hearing your comments. You can do so in the section below. Also, please give this video a like, a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and subscribe to my channel for more spiritual, inspiring content to come. Have a blessed day.